too close. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, today was a really great match for me because I played unbelievable. I would say one of the best matches I played this year. So yeah, hopefully I can keep the level uh, for Sunday. Yeah, Elena, you said on court that, that you kind of came in not really knowing what to expect and your level surprised you. Did you feel that during the warm up? Did you feel like you were just seeing and hitting the ball really well or did that all just come in the match? Uh, well, uh, the warm up was uh, as usual, nothing really changed and uh, I felt good on court, but I just knew that after such a difficult match of yesterday, it might be difficult to play today and uh, I didn't know uh, how fast I can recover also, but uh, I think we, with the team we did a, a good job and I really felt good physically on court today, so yeah, that's why I was kind of surprised and uh, I really enjoyed uh, this match today. Do you feel like it's Australia revisited? Uh, you mean? Semi-final, yeah. final. Uh, I think that uh, I did uh, really good preparation as preseason I was always saying and uh, uh, we tried to maintain this level so uh, yeah, I think that uh, for now I'm playing really well this beginning of the season and uh, I just try to keep the level. The consistency has been the thing that it feels like you've been chasing in particular over the last few years, just not having lulls in your season. Now making two big finals in the span of three months. What do you think has been the key to that and how pleased are you to be able to, yeah, get this consistency at the biggest events of the season? Uh, yeah, I think I was uh, improving in these uh, four years on tour and uh, uh, it's just uh, everything coming together. The experience uh, team is became bigger and uh, working a lot on fitness and uh, yeah, and just getting uh, stronger a bit physically and uh, yeah, just uh, the work which we did for the past four years and uh, it just, uh, yeah, showing it now on, on the court and uh, with my results. When you look at the final, what are your thoughts there? The stats, even though all the matches have been three setters, the stats are not in your favor. There have been four matches Sabalenka is one each one. What do you do to maybe flip that result and change things? Yeah, as you said, uh, I lost the last four times and it was always like three sets. So I think it's just to play better in these important moments and uh, hold the serve because I think a few times it was just because of one break. And uh, yeah, it's going to be not an easy match. And, uh, it's going to be again these clutch moments. I just need to play better, and uh, hopefully now it's going to change the the score <laughs> between us. How important do you think that the court surface really is in predicting or imagining matchups? Like Daniel Medvedev said, this isn't even a hard court when he was angry, and yet we have you and Arena in the final. Uh, can you just speak about how important surface really is? Well, I will say that uh, it is important, of course, but I'm happy that even I was saying that it's not my advantage, this surface, because it's too slow. I think that uh, in the end it proves me that I actually can play in such uh, slow conditions and it's only good for me in the end. Uh, uh, if physically I feel well and uh, I'm healthy, that uh, it's possible to play on any surface for me, which is a good thing. And uh, I had such a tough uh, battles in the first matches and uh, also conditions are not predictable with the wind. Uh, uh, either it's too hot or too cold. Like today I will say that it was perfect conditions to play. Why did you think that you were not good on slow surfaces? Because you've had pretty good results last couple of years on clay. Obviously that run at Roland Garros and, you know, I think Strasbourg maybe, if I'm remembering correctly, but why do you think you're not good on slower surfaces? Uh, well, I didn't say that I'm bad on clay, uh, but uh, clay is actually 
it's kind of faster than here, I will say, in the sense of you can slide and you have just more time. But here the ball stops and uh, it's a bit different compared to other ho uh, hard courts. But uh, I just know that uh, when the court is slower and uh, of course it's more physically, and this aspect I need to improve the most, I will say, to, to have uh, this consistency, which now I guess I'm do we are doing correct uh, things and uh, slowly I'm getting this consistency. So yeah, it's just I know that uh, uh, if the court is a bit faster, it's uh, maybe more advantage for me since I can get these three points. But uh, yeah, as I said, physically I'm well, uh, I can play even on the slow course. And then, sorry, but but just on the topic of playing Iga now twice and getting these two wins this year, what is it about your game style or the way that you play your game that makes you think that you've been able to, yeah, win four straight sets off her? I think just uh, my aggressive style of the game, uh, big serves, and uh, today uh, I was pushing a lot. Uh, I think that uh, it's just overall some players it's more difficult to play against and uh, with Iga uh, she's tough, a really tough opponent but uh, uh, when I play like this good and uh, everything goes in because today some moments uh, I played uh, I would say on my highest level so um, yeah there is a moment where you can feel okay I can beat anyone if I always play like this but uh, it's the goal, but uh, uh, you never feel uh, amazing and perfect every match. So, um, yeah, I think today it was just really good from me.